Hey guys, so today I have got a really quick hair update and a really quick empties video for you for August. So this will be the stuff that I've used up in August and just a little bit of a hair update. So I'll start with that. Obviously last time that you saw me I had bright purple hair. It was really fun, it was really vibrant. I am totally want to go back to it at some point just whilst I've got like a bit of a transition with I've got a holiday, I've started a new job. I just kind of wanted something that was just easy to maintain so had blonde highlights put back in just to lighten it up a little bit because I had roots to like here that were meant to be there but I um, just wanted to break that up a little bit and brighten it up for my holiday as I'm going to Spain. So let's start with the stuff I've been using this month. I've only got four things, I've kind of not been running out of stuff that much. I had quite a big one last month because I was kind of getting to the end of everything but um, yeah so only four things, it's going to be super quick, I just wanted to talk you through them. Firstly these are two they're separate but I'll do them as a pair. It's the L'Oreal Paris Elvive Extraordinary Clay Shampoo and the L'Oreal Paris Elvive Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Conditioner. These are my favourite shampoos to use to make your hair feel amazing. I did talk about them in the last video as well. I seem to go through them like water. So I will definitely be rebuying these but I recommend them totally. They make your hair feel really soft as someone who dyes their hair all the time it is important to have a good shampoo. One thing that I would say is that I seem to obviously go through the shampoo well more than the conditioner because you're only meant to use like a pea sized amount even though that's never happening. But I do go through the shampoo way more than I go through the conditioner so it's kind of annoying when sometimes I'm halfway through a bottle of shampoo and then not through the end of the conditioner because I feel like this I just seem to go through like god knows but it's the best shampoo, I love using it, I'll completely keep buying it, there's always like a deal on it as well in Boots, I think it's like, it's always reduced in Boots, which I don't know if that says about my taste, but I'm always happy that it's reduced because I'm going to continue to buy more. Just got a new bottle of it, which is over that way, ready for me to use, and I've used it today, my hair feels really nice and soft, I think for me, just to dye my hair all the time, it's important that my hair does not look dead because we don't want that. I want it to still look fresh even though I like to update the colour regularly. So yeah, there's that. But totally will buy these. I would 100% recommend them. Value for money, yes. So if you've not tried them, go out and try them. Next, I'm really disappointed about this. This is my Rimmel London Brow This Way Clear Gel. I feel like there's so much more left in the bottle and I just can't get to get it out. I've only had it for like not even a month. I've probably used it like 20 times around, I don't know, but I've not had it for that long, I feel like there's so much more product left in the bottle, I just want to shake it, I've tried scooping, I've tried doing all this to get it out, but it just won't budge, so it's a really good product, it makes your eyebrows feel really cool, if you watch my tutorials, I use it in every single one, I've bought it so many times, but I just feel like if you could just get, I reckon that the brush probably goes to about there, so there's probably that much left of product, which is really annoying when you like a product so much and you just want to use as much of it as you can. So would I recommend it? Yes, if you don't get irritated by the fact that there's going to be product left in the bottle. Value for money, probably value for money, I think it's like 4 99 but that probably needs to be confirmed, but probably value for money. And will I be repaying it? Most probably, because I'm a sucker for it. And lastly, my Colourpop Brow Colour in Honey Blonde. It is my all time favourite brow product. I've used it every day since I've bought it. It's the best. I want to get some more. The only issue with Colourpop is that it's so hard to order from there because of the US shipping, so it just put me off. Will I rebuy? Yes, probably. If, they, if I can't find a UK version, buy you for money. Yes, it was only like £3.99, I think. Possibly. And um, will I recommend it? A hundred percent. I would recommend it. So, this was a really quick one. You've had my hair update. I've shown my August empties. There's not much else left to talk about with you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment below with any video suggestions. Bye!